One, two, three, four. All right. That's the new theme song. Uh, shit, man. We're on it. I'm back two days in a row. Uh, I've been up all night uh, working. And I've been listening to music, and uh, I'm going to talk about three albums with you that, and maybe that might be a jump off point for more. We will see. Um, today is Thursday, August 31st, to 2023. I am glad to see August coming through to a close because August in Texas sucks. So we are on to it, and uh, let me see. Where I'm gonna start here is digga, 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 a tribute to Susie and the Banshees. All right, this is on Cleopatra Records out of LA. This just came out uh, August 25th. Uh, the album is six days old. Um, it's a bunch of bands doing Susie and the Banshees covers. And uh, this is the kind of record, let me see. I was really early to microdosing, you know, I was like 25 years ahead of the curve on that. And uh, we used to hang out at this uh, place, The Cavity, in the early 90s. And then I'd go watch the punk rock bands. And then me and my friend Peter would go around the corner and we would go to a, a club. It was a dance club called ba back, Backstreet Basics. Ohms. It was called Ohms after that. So we go to Ohms and skipped the dance well he liked the dance club but i didn't go to the dance club there was like a chill out room and they play like ambient music and when i listen to this and they'd show videos and stuff cool videos and they'd have couches and on the girls would be dressed like they're going to prom but it was just a dance club and they would kind of play some cool alternative rock stuff it was the early 90s mixed with the dance ambient stuff and it, and there was lasers going everywhere. And I think you could probably play this whole album there. So uh, let me see. Uh, they're doing most of the uh, songs uh, we like by uh, by Susie and the Banshees, a band I've uh, loved for a long time. It starts off with Hong Kong Garden by Cat Bambino, an electronic duo from Bordeaux, France. And then we've got Cities in Dust by Nightclub. Nightclub uh, has Mark Evans, the eight chord scissor king from Warlock Pinchers, but it is not, it's a little more polished than that. But I did get this new Warlock Pinchers, it's not new. It came out with the reunion show in 2011. Andrew Novick gave it to me, but it's, uh, it's called Bomb the Franklin Mint and it's got demos and a few bonus tracks. Anyway, I didn't know this existed, but I got it anyway. Nightclub does Cities and Dust. That was the uh, tour I got to see Susie and the Banshees on with the Ranch Hands opening in 1986, Tinderbox tour. Uh, Monitor has John Wobble and John Klein. John Klein actually played guitar in Susie and the Banshees from like 87 to 91. And John Wobble's like my favorite, uh, one of my favorite bass players ever. And uh, it starts a precedent in the album where there's a lot of songs from Juju, the album. I always thought Juju was, well, I've loved that album. It's my favorite Susie and the Banshees albums, but I've watched a lot of countdown videos and it turns out that's everybody's favorite Susie and the Banshees album, it seems. So uh, let me see, Job, that, that song I like a lot. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me see, Night Shift, also from Juju, Novel Vague, a Bossa Nova band, uh, Spellbound, a ethereal version of that, uh, by R. Missing. There's, they do two, two covers, they do Dear Prudence and at the end, The Passenger. Uh, so there's two of the cover songs that Susie kind of made hers. Who else is good on this? Scold, doing Peekaboo. Yeah, a lot of these are like kind of like industrial. There's a lot of like electronic dance duos and then kind of like industrial rock, Scold and uh, Baby Chaos. Yeah, Viva La Feet and Zuzu. I don't know, Zuzu does the passenger. That's very ethereal. 
Anyway, um, it's kind of a cool chill out record. I enjoyed it. I've listened to it a few times. Anyway, we'll move on. Spellbound, a tribute to Susie and the Banshees. Uh, the next thing I got, I've been meaning to get this for a little bit. It's called, it's a cool package. My buddy Dan recommended it to me and it's called, uh, S, uh, SLWCC Watt. So that's Sam Walk Ward from Iowa City, Iowa. I'm sorry. I'm going to quit getting behind the record. And, uh, it's a, a record he did with Mike Watt. Sam Watt. Anyway, um, they did it over the internet, it, and it's the third album they've done together. And it also has Joe Jack Talcum on guitar and Dean Clean, both of them from Dead Milkman, and Bob Bucko on Junior, Bob Bucko Junior from Dubuque, Iowa, on sax and flute. And um, so this alternates every other song. One song will be uh, a SLW song, Sam Lock Ward, who I didn't know about him, but super prolific. It's been around for a couple decades. And, uh, oh, the album's called Purple Pie Plow. And uh, Watt plays bass on it, on all the songs, and then does like kind of very short spiel songs in between. Uh, the SLC, SLW songs. So anyway, it's a pretty cool looking record. This song, Kill Rock Stars. It's a great, it's a beautiful record. It's awesome. I mean, it's, it's really cool that people can send files around and do something of this quality. And I'm sure it's, that's old news to a lot of people, but just on this level, I mean, all the playing is really good. Um, what I liked about it is not what I expected to like about it, and that's that all the uh, Sam Lockboard songs are awesome, just across the board. Uh, my favorite ones being Boring Out, Help Me, Pray, Lost to Time, uh, Weeds of Your Dreams. Yeah, anyway, God, Weeds of Your Dreams, that's one of the Mike Watch feels. Anyway, um, Mike, Mike Watt stuff is great, you know, but I mean, it's kind of what you'd expect from him. I kind of wish he'd do, I mean, so I love the Minuteman, you know, uh, Double Nickels on the Dime is one of those records that I've heard as much as I've heard anything. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it got me thinking, it's like, did he always just talk? Cause he did a lot of that before, but he did other types of stuff too. I like, I wish he would have like sang one, you know, like tour spiel kind of song, even though that song has spiel in the title, he actually kind of, whatever he did on it, you know, but anyway, it's a, it's a great record. I love all the playing on it. And, uh, um yeah sam lock ward batted a thousand on it and uh mike watt's stuff is is brief and interesting you know so uh i highly recommend getting this it's on kill rock stars and it came out july 21st and now we're gonna get to the hot hip act that i will be seeing at goner fest snooper if everything goes right super snooper by snooper uh, these guys, uh, let me see. The first bands I thought of when I heard them would be like Melt Banana and the Epoxies. So very, uh, spastic, wild, uh, eclectic, sometimes keyboard driven. So, uh, this is, um, started off as a project, uh, during the pandemic of, uh, the guitar player, Connor Cummings. This is, they're from Nashville. And this is on Third Man Records, Jack White's label. So, um, with uh, the singer, Blair Trammell, uh, the uh, female Blair. So, uh, she's, let me see. This is really good, like it a lot. Uh, very spastic, very new wavy. Uh, Devo looms large, like, I, feel, I don't feel like, I mean, when I saw their clip live, they do a very obscure Devo cover that as much as I've listened to the hardcore Devo, I did not remember that song, but the way they do it sounds a bit different. But um, 
they also do a cover by the band Suburban Lawns from 1981, and the song is, uh, God, what's it called? A, uh, the, see, it's not even on it. Look, here's their song listing. It's so obnoxious. It's the song, uh, Unable. Unable, yeah. So everything's real short. We got stretching, bed bugs, pod, fitness. And, I mean, the, the songwriting is really consistent on this. If you... If you like one song, you're gonna like all of them. And except the one song that sticks out is the last song, Running, because it's not short. It goes on, but I also think it's probably the best song on the record. Um, if I had to pick one, I like all of them. I like Microbe. Uh, Everyone seems to like inventory the best. I don't know when I just see people commenting on, but I think it's bed bed bugs is awesome. Pod anyway. Um, they're a great live act. There's a uh, uh, there's a clip on uh, YouTube and they play pretty much this album in its entirety, and then I guess some uh, songs from their earlier EPs. This is the first full length album and uh they had a couple eps so they pretty much play this thing start to finish and it's the one that's like live in murfreesboro tennessee that's like fairly new i'll try to put a link to it but um you should watch that so so the main folks in the band are the two standing back here they've kind of got a bunch of their friends and i think these guys so so uh ha happy haugen on bass uh cam Sarrett on drums and then in the live lineup, they had another guy playing electronic drums, and then they had another guy playing guitars that's pretty much matching guitar parts. Um, uh, it took me a while to notice how good of a guitar player Connor Cummings is, but um, I really like his style, and I like how he um, alternates between playing the riffs and then getting up there and the uh like 12th fret for the the leads and then coming back it's it he's uh he's got a cool style and uh it's uh this is a hot band i'm probably not telling you anything about them because uh everyone seems to like them they've been getting a lot of big opening slots and uh they wear a lot of matching um the backup band i mean not not the blair trammell who sings but the backup band they have a lot of uh, warm-up suits, like nylon warm-up suits. And then there's, uh, as you can see, like they've got some some puppets almost uh, in the in the crowd as plants, you know, sometimes. I don't know, very fun live act, as I said, first things. I mean, the bands I've seen that this reminds me of that I've played with are the Epoxies and, and Milk Banana. But yeah, most people, this has been called Devo Core, but you know, some there's so many aspects of what that could be, and there's so many bands that have been inspired by Devo. It's kind of Devo kind of looms large in the background of the universe, but uh, yeah, Snooper is a good one. You should check it out if you haven't already. Okay, do 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 do, and I just talked about all three, and it's been 13 and a half minutes. Um, so, um, still playing catch up and, uh, thanks for being with me again and I'm going to take us out with the song and then I'm going to turn you off. All right. Click the like button, make a comment.